In this lesson, we're going to look at the last type of fraction at this time that we need to deal with in terms of solving equations. And it's something like this where we have a bracket divided by a number and adding on another bracket divided by a number. Um, okay, now the same rules apply generally with this to the ones um, previously. So as before, we want to try and eliminate the fractions. So have a look at the, the denominators, the 2 and the 3. And to eliminate this, we need to multiply everything by the lowest common multiple. And the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So get rid of the fractions every time. In every type of equation, trying to get rid of the fractions first is the best method. Because it uh, makes things much easier when you get no fractions. So I need to multiply this by 6. All of this. All of this by 6. And this side by 6, which is quite easy compared to the other side. So I'm taking that bracket dividing it by 2 and times it by 6. So really what you can do is you can just do the 6 divided by the 2 and you'll be left with a 3. So the 3 is now going to multiply by the x minus 3 bracket like this. And the same thing happens here. We just take our multiplication by 6 and divide it by 3. That's going to leave us with a 2 in front of the bracket. And that's going to come to 18. So once I've got that, once I've got rid of these denominators, it's just a case of multiplying out the brackets and simplifying this side. So, multiply this bracket by 3. So 3x take away 9. Plus 2x, 2 times x. And then 2 times 2, which is 4. And that comes to 18. So, collecting up like terms, if we look at this, we've got a 3x and a plus 2x. So that's going to make 5x. And then we've got a negative 9 plus 4. So we can either do negative 9 plus 4, or 4 take away 9. And that comes to negative 5, or take away 5, equals 18. So now it's a simple equation to solve because you've eliminated the fractions and you've multiplied out the brackets and then simplified it down. So add on the 5 to both sides. 5x is 23 and then divide through by 5. So x is 23 over 5 and I would change that into a mixed number. How many 5s go into 23? Well 4 will make 20 and then the remainder 3. It's four and three fifths. So remember to get rid of the fraction at the bottom, multiply by the lowest common multiple, and then just take your multiplier and divide it by the, the denominator here to get the value at the front of the bracket. Same here, take your multiplier and divide it by three to get the multiplier at the front of the bracket. 